Hello and welcome back to another Devlog Thursday. I've been really busy lately and haven't got a lot of chances to work on Adventure World. The bulk of what I've gotten done was in the game dev session that I uploaded last Devlog Thursday. Just as a refresher for what happened in the last um, game dev session, I um, what I did is I worked some more on the um, dialogue system. You can talk to any character you want now, and they now have different dialogue depending on where you are in this makeshift story. And the story that I'm developing is currently being told through dialogue and some cutscenes. So the story starts out where Molly is waiting for an adventure, and then she talks to Mouse about this, and he says that she should look for an adventure. She's not going to find one by waiting, and he suggests you do that by asking around. And that's what we're about to do. So you can talk to characters like Bart, who just, um, he doesn't have any idea of what adventure you can do, but he knows where Max is. And of course he says down this road, and yeah, this is the new area, this is the other thing I did in the game dev session, I made transitions between rooms, and I added other rooms. And I added this to this room, um, after the game dev session. <clears throat> you can talk to Max, and you ask about this being his new shop, and he says, yeah, it is. And you ask him for an adventure too, but he doesn't know of anything either. He just says, do whatever you want. And that's not a satisfactory answer for Molly. If you keep looking around, you'll see this little fox, and he's got something. <clears throat> Sorry. You can't quite tell what it is, so you talk to him and ask what he's got there, and he runs away. He's very shy. So this is actually your adventure. You find this out by going back to talk to Mouse, and he says that you should go after the fox, try and catch it. And that's as far as I've gotten. You can't actually catch the fox, because if you go into the area that he ran into, which is right of this area, or east I guess, you'll see the fox just standing there, and you can't interact with it at all. There's this little tree. This is what I got done today, this tree sprite. How this is going to work is there's going to be a forest full of trees like this, and pairs of trees are going to be, be connected by um, underground tunnels. And whenever the fox runs away from you, he'll run into one of these trees, and if you go to interact with the tree he ran into, the camera will pan and show him coming out of the tree that it's connected to and running to the next closest tree. And so what you'll find out is that you can't very easily catch this fox, at least not on your own. So that's where the party mechanic comes in. It's something I'm planning. It may or may not stay. It just depends. And the way that'll work is you can recruit other people in the story to follow you around as part of your party. And one of the mechanics will be disbanding party members at particular locations. And what you'll find out you'll have to do is disband a party member at a tree that you know the fox is going to come out of if you interact with the tree that he went into. And then when you interact with that tree, he'll run to the other tree and he'll come out, but he'll be caught by the other party member. And that'll be the end of that particular part of the story. And I haven't yet planned what comes after that, because what I need to work on next is that exact thing. So maybe in the next game dev session, if I do one, it'll be that. And I'll try to condense it this time, because the last one was an hour and 21 minutes. And I might condense it by, you know, splicing together shorter length clips. I don't actually know how to do that yet, but maybe I can figure it out. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.